In this section I'll be showing how to remove the small striker bellows from the, the holding plate itself. Uh, there are two ways you can do it, two three ways depending. You can either take a knife and split the covering off of it, which is an easy way, then you flip it over and then you use a very thin steel spatula that you grind very thin but also pass a piece of sandpaper on the edge so it doesn't uh, really become too sharp because once you insert it between the board and the bellow itself you'll be cutting off some of the wood so uh, that by sanding it down it's not a sharp so it works a bit better uh, first step you will be marking the position of the bellow like this just cutting along the bellow just to mark its position put it back exactly the same spot and then what I do sometimes is I just just for the fun of it if you uh, yeah, I naturally to do the process I use a heat gun at low speed and you just if you want to you can instead of cutting it off you can remove it just by heating it and then the, the glue becomes soft and you're able to just peel off the covering it's handy to so you're, you will have a template on which to see exactly what size of replacement material you'll be using and also how wide it opens when you put it back together. Once it's hot enough, you're able to pull it off. It should be about ready now. It's starting to come. Yeah. Just it peels off. Naturally, the way you pull on it, you have to be careful for the the direction so you don't tear off the hinge inside the the bell. It's just a question of having the patience to do it. Yeah. When you open it up, put some heat between the two bellows. now you have the material itself so you can measure the width and the length what I do is I just make a template and mark it on the material itself and prepare pre-cut all the the, the the material to recover them I use cardboard and I make templates which are exactly the size I need. That way I found that I'm able to stretch a material and so far I'm looking at probably using one yard of material to do the whole job. There, now that part is done. Now the next in the next video I'll be just showing how you can pry with this spatula, steel spatula, to remove it.